Hi, Seth David here, and I want to welcome you to the virtual tour of Nerd's School of Bookkeeping with QuickBooks. If you're watching this on YouTube, or you're watching this anywhere other than where you're already on the School of Bookkeeping, then you may be wondering how to get there. On my main website at nerdenterprises.com, just click Training right at the top. Never mind the drop-down menu. Clicking Training will get you all that drop-down menu navigation right here on your left where it's much easier to navigate. And then come right down here and click on School of Bookkeeping. If you're ready to sign up, just go right here to register, start learning. Click on that. You'll find that you have one option here, $147 for a month of access to absolutely all of the content that this course has to offer. All the videos, all the downloads, no upsells, no side sells, no BS. I will be adding in other options later, which simply include one-on-one -on -one instruction with me, so that if people should want that, it's an option that's available. If you want that now, go to quickbooksanswers.info, and I have a whole bunch of training packages there, which you can add on as a complement to this. Once you have registered, you'll have to create an account, which means set up a username and password so that you can log in. And once you logged in, you'll be so happy because you'll be able to click here where it says chapters, let's do this. And over here, you can see that I've got the complete outline. So what are, we, what are you going to learn? What am I going to teach you? Well, I have two camps here that I'm addressing. I have my bookkeepers who are either aspiring bookkeepers or bookkeepers who want to take things to the next level. And then I have business owners. And I think this course will offer valuable information for both on the bookkeeper camp and the business owner camp, chapter one is gonna give you the foundation. I think one of the biggest fr frustrations people run into, especially with QuickBooks, is they think of QuickBooks as something that is, because it's, it's pitched out there, as something that's so easy to use. And to a certain point it is. But the reality is once you get into anything that's even remotely complex, then it goes beyond just knowing how to fill out a form in QuickBooks. And chapter one is designed to give you, is designed to fill that gap. I'm gonna give you the foundation. We're gonna to talk to you about what bookkeeping is really all about. And then in section two here, we're gonna actually get into debits and credits and the different account types and normal balances and how transactions flow from one account type to another. What increases an asset? What increases a liability? What increases an equity account? So on and so forth. So when you get to the chapters here, you're just gonna, you're gonna see a preview initially. And if you wanna do that chapter, you click study this. As you can see, I've got gorgeous pictures here for you to look at. It just makes it that much more engaging. There's stuff to read for people who like to read. And actually, even if you don't like to read, read this because it's important stuff. Every time you see the monkey, that means there's a template to download. Make sure that you download that template. Once you've gone through the chapter, then you're probably ready to watch some of the videos that the chapter includes. I will be going back and cleaning some of this stuff up. So uh, you'll see titles eventually here so that you know exactly which video covers what. Um, I am, as I've probably mentioned, uh, in wh whatever it is that you clicked on to get over here, uh, still in the cleanup process and there's still two more chapters to add which will be in here long before you can possibly get through all of this information. But when you're ready to watch a video, you click play to watch the video. Obviously these are not on YouTube because you paid for them. There's one chapter, the chapter on payroll where I used videos from YouTube because it was just, it was already covered. But what you'll also notice, and, and this may you may run into this in some cases, and if you do, please bring it to my attention. Some of the videos I noticed, the uh, load time is a little slow, so the play catches, the play progress catches up, and the video will pause and hang up. And I know that can be annoying. The simple solution is to just pause the video like I did here, and you'll see the load progress will continue. So just let it load for a while before you play it, so that you can actually play it without interruption. Simple as that, but bring it to my attention because I can chop up the timeline on these videos behind the scenes and make them run a little more smoothly. I've, I've run into one or two videos that do this, not many. Most of them play just fine. So again, going back to the outline, you'll get the introduction, you'll get that foundation, and then I'm gonna uh, you know, just kind of ramp it right up, right into QuickBooks. Introduction to QuickBooks, where do your transactions live? So that chapter teaches you all about your chart of accounts and how to set up your accounts. Uh, what do you do for a living? That's going to teach you about your item list, how to set up the products and services that you sell. Who will you sell to? Now here's, uh, for the bookkeepers especially, I think, something I added in here that I wanted to bring to your attention that I think is interesting. And the business owners might find it useful as well. But I did a bonus video here, and as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, there's a lot here, right? I've given you screenshots, I've given you a lot to work with. This is not a light course. That's why it's $147 a month. There's a lot in here. There's videos in between, customer and job setup. Uh, then you've got some more screenshots and then a bunch more videos uh, looking at the customer profile. And then here's something that I added in as kind of a bonus that I thought you'd like. It's a video on how to use Google Forms to set up a form that you can use to capture your customer's information so that you can easily come back into QuickBooks and set up the customer profile. Just a little efficiency thing that I thought you'd find 
valuable, and I try to infuse this kind of stuff throughout the entire course. What else? At the end of each chapter, if you have questions, you get to post comments on a chapter. How many books you know where you can do that and get direct feedback from the author? And if you have questions where you need to bring up specific information about your business that you don't want shown to uh, all the other people who are using the site, well, if you're way down here at the bottom of the chapter and you come to realize that, click this little link down here at the bottom that says top and it'll automatically scroll you all the way up. Come here to the principal's office, use my contact form. In fact, use this contact form to ask me questions about this. If you haven't registered yet because you're not sure if it's going to give you what you're looking for, I have no problem with that. Ask me the questions. Use this form to do it. If you're involved in the book already and you have a question where you want to bring up information that's private, use this form. It sends an email to me privately, and I will certainly get back to you very promptly. So I hope that answers your questions and addresses any concerns you might have about this book in a blog. I look forward to seeing you register. Just come here right now, click register, start learning. The registration, by the way, is non-recurring, so you're not going to have to remember to cancel next month. I hate when websites do that to me, so I'm certainly not going to do that to you.